important what category of drug it's in, but that led her into antidepressants, which I, I don't want to use something that might lead me into needing those. Not that, you know, she's a much better person for having them today, but I mean, for myself, that's... Do you rather not do that? No. Okay. Um, have you thought about using any of the you know, sort of other sort of um, substitute type things, like uh, some people, for example, um, you know, sunflower seeds? Yeah, something like that. Or, you know, marijuana? <laughs> marijuana. So you talked about quitting that, but do you think you actually would, you know, you should use that for a short period of time? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Quitting? Right. I mean, that's, yeah. It, it's not something that, you know, in the middle of the day you could do. So <laughs> why, don't you, why don't you list that as something that it's okay for you to do for, like, six months or so, and then mm -hmm. reevaluate it. Right. 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 These are all things you're going to share with your friends, right? Yeah. Because you're on videotape saying. Yeah. Okay. So, um... The, uh, what about exercise? What's your attitude towards exercise? I love to play basketball. I mean, I, it's if I could do nothing else but do that all day long, I would. But with my job, my schedule, um, it's hard to do that. Now, now that it's going to be springtime and the weather's getting nice and there's longer hours of the day, I'm able to get out there more. But that's that's my exercise. Now, is there any kind of exercise you could do with in connection with your job in a brief period of time? Either stretching like yoga or tai chi or push-ups or something like that that you think might be helpful to you today? In the, in the course of a normal work day? Yeah, in the course of a normal work day, you're going to have times when you would expect to be taking a cigarette break. Right. So you need to have something else to do during those times. Mm -hmm. Yoga? Sure. Yeah, so I've done that before. If you know any yoga, you could you know, work out a series of yoga poses to do that would take you know, two minutes or five minutes or something like that. Uh-huh. Now we have a conference room I could come into. So something like that, and if you can get anybody else who wants to quit and do it with you, that's even more powerful. Yes. So. Yes. Okay. Um, what are the things that you would like your friends to tell you that would be helpful to you, and it's okay for them to say about quitting? You smell better. You mean after it? Yeah. You know, which was which was the other part of the other reason I wanted to quit was because. You know, you don't recognize it when you're a smoker, but you reek of it. It's, it's everywhere. So, you smell good. <laughs> it would be a very positive thing okay. to hear. Good. What yeah. else? Um, you know, um, you don't need to smoke to be cool. Okay. Good. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Supposing that they... Can they ask you if you're smoking? Sure. Now, are there things you'd really rather they didn't do or didn't ask, even though it might be well-intentioned? Is there anything that comes to mind that you'd really rather they didn't do? No, no. I mean, I, no, the ironic thing I mentioned when I, I started again two years ago in a new job and, and then made a lot of friends there, but they've all left. And the, of the group, they all smoke. Now I'm the only one left. So there won't be any smokers in my life. Right. Okay, who will be offering me cigarettes or I'll be okay. watching them smoking it and you don't want that. Okay. So <clears throat> what are uh, behaviors you absolutely shouldn't do that you know would be very dangerous? Um, heavier drugs. Okay. No. Or, you know, you're getting, you mentioned getting drunk. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. So you can, you can expand these. <laughs> Advantage of having a videotape that you look back and see. But you can see how this works out to a list of about 20 things, okay? 20 things. You know, something like that, you know, that you can or can't do. And um, the exercise is important. Probably using a multivitamin right off the bat would be important. Okay. It doesn't matter which one, but... I have some. Good. Those little packet things right. with the multiple vitamins. I'll probably make sure that you do those. I do a lot of fluids, extra fluids, and uh, herbal tea is a really good substitute. Okay? You can make the first tea of the day caffeine, but don't do it all day. No. Okay, use probably herbal teas. Um, exercise routine is really good, all right? and really making sure that, you're, you, that you, you know, sort of reward yourself verbally. And based on what we said, I think I would go back to that and say, as you want to have a cigarette, I'm a smelly guy who's going to get lung cancer. <laughs> right, and that's because right. Because <laughs> I smoke, okay? Yeah. Or if I smoke, I'll be a smelly guy who's going to get lung cancer. I want to make it very negative. Associated with that urge to smoke and weak, I think that's also something. Like 
Now you might want to check out, um, see if by some way you could slide into or get into one of the uh, acupuncture programs. There's one at Berkeley Primary Care Access Clinic. You can call them up and see. You probably make too much money to qualify for their programs. Not lately. <laughs> but maybe not. And at least find out whether it's available. Okay. Acupuncture is very helpful for some people. Hypnosis is extremely helpful for some people. Basically what we did was just a hypnotic session, but the real hypnotic sessions uh, can be very helpful. I have been under hypnosis before, so I know I can be hypnotized. Yeah.